Well, some of you have been asking for funhouse updates and uh, what's next. Well, unfortunately, funhouse looks exactly like it did because I've been trying to get my Iron Maiden shop job done and out of the way. So a work zone over here probably doesn't look that bad on video, but this is all disgusting. Uh, dust and everything from uh, polishing my workbench over here sitting on top of <laughs> this other cabinet and supplies everywhere all right well this is what we've been working on trying to get all this metal polished you know and frankly I found, I sound, if I sound a little bit down, it's because I've been really frustrated with uh, my results. I'm not getting what I want. And uh, I've been trying various things to try to, to get the results I want. Like, here's an example of a piece that's actually pretty good. Um, except there's supposed to be a ramp flap there, which... I caught on the uh, buffer, not once, but like three times. So yeah, that's destroyed. So I have to replace that. Um, you know, these guides, you know, they all look fine far away, but you know, up close, they're just, they're not, they're not, uh, there's too many scratches. And, you know, honestly, I was going backwards. Like this is the very first piece I did I think it looks pretty good. And this is the last piece I did. And it looks like garbage, I think. I mean, yes, it's shiny, but I mean, it's pretty much grained. So everything I'm doing, I'm making it, I'm, I'm doing worse as I go along. So it's been pretty hard to, uh, Get motivated and come down and do work and um yeah so but all these pieces are done now i destroyed a ramp flap um i almost destroyed this ball guide it's got to be bent back one of these maybe it's this one it needs to be bent back in shape because I caught it on the wheel and here's an example of a piece i mean it's just, yeah, not satisfied, not happy, but eventually just got to move on and keep going. So I think that's the phase where I'm at right now. So next is uh, cleaning the play field, getting mylar off, probably polishing which hopefully goes better than the metal polishing has. And then new mylar, new protectors, and hopefully my consult with Glacier Pinball will help me fix these issues I have here. And uh, I think next I'll show you some of the close-ups I was doing as I was buffing, but uh, yeah, that's where we're at. All right, well, here's the starting point for this one. We're gonna uh, just go right with the scotch scotch brights on this one and see how we do. So you can see a lot of wear in there. Hmm. Look at that spot. That's crazy. Well, let's see what we got. <clears throat> okay. Here's where we're at after the red scotch bright. See all the wear there has been taken out. So the line there, but I mean, it's just barely there. All the way around. And you can see all the wear there is pretty much out. And again, the minor line, just a little bit of pitting there, but not enough to be worried about I don't think. Okay, after green Scotch-Brite, 
There's usually not much difference between the red and the green. At least that, you know, it's not taking stuff out. It's more about smoothing it. So you can see there's still the divots. Um, but, yeah. So, I mean, if you're going for a factory look, I would just stop here. That would look great in the game. But we're going to see what we're going to get. Okay, here we are. About 20 minutes of work for this moderate size piece. This is after the turns on the, uh, the buffing wheel. So you can say it's definitely highly polished. It's very shiny. I mean, even you know, when you go against the, you know, the mirror test and stuff, I mean, it'll show words and all. But it's not a mirror finish. You can see the graining very clearly here still in the piece. So it's very polished, but not a mirror. I mean, like in a game, it's, it's going to look like that. Um, but this is a lot easier. This is no hand sanding. This is just straight um, Scotch Brights on a, on a vibrating palm sander, um, followed by the uh, the buffing wheels. Um, I don't know. I think for the big pieces, this is probably where I'm going to end up. Um, but I'm not sure. Is it really better than just grained? I'm, uh, I feel like it's got to go further to be better. And I don't know if I got it in me to go further. Um, but we'll see.